Amnesty International Ghana has released its latest report on the state of human rights in Ghana, providing key insights into the country's progress and challenges in this area. The report comes as part of the global movement efforts to raise awareness about human rights issues worldwide. The report focuses on Ghana's human rights status, while a separate report on the death penalty will highlight the progress made in the campaign to abolish capital punishment in the country. This follows the passage of two significant bills in July 2023, the Criminal Offences Act, Act 29-1960, and the Ghana Armed Forces Act, Act 105-1962. According to the country's director of Amnesty International, Ghana, Genevieve Partington, the report provides a comprehensive overview of Ghana's human rights situation, highlighting areas of progress and concern. She reiterated her firm's commitment in continuing working with government officials, civil society organizations, and other stakeholders to promote and protect human rights in Ghana. Poor underprivileged backgrounds. So that means there's a sort of disparity, and it's underprivileged people that are being put on death row. So for Ghana, it's to move forward, we need to abolish the death penalty fully and completely. And that includes getting rid of it in our 1992 constitution, which currently holds the issue of high treason. And then we also have um, LGBT people's rights. Um, this is a bill that was passed in parliament and it is a draconian um, bill that criminalizes persons for, I guess, loving who they choose to love so far as it's consensual and they are of age. So this law is very regressive for Ghana. If the president signs it um, into law, it will give, in fact, it will degrade Ghana's human rights um, level within Africa. Looking at the fact that we are the trendsetters for Africa, Ghana Already our democracy is something that other African states look up to. We need to ensure that this bill is not signed into law. So we are appealing to the president as well to ensure that the LGBTI bill is not signed into law. At the event, government officials including the Deputy Attorney General and Member of Parliament for Medina Javier Susu as well as representative from various institutions and Queen Mothers gathered to affirm their support from Amnesty International's work in Ghana. The event demonstrated the organization's commitment to collaboration and engagement with stakeholders to promote human rights in the country. Being molested and the perpetrators not made to face the law, uh, having to pay taxes on parts for our menses, not having good or potable water to clean ourselves and many others. In all of this, women and children would always be at the receiving end when the problems or the issues start. As such, we are in solidarity with all speakers today and calling on the president to do the need for. This year is also an election year. And as such, we would like to advise the youth to desist from taking money from politicians and then doing things that would lead this country to war. Decade old constitutional order. And let us live like a people who have chosen a constitution and not people who live under a dictatorship. I would like to also address our chiefs. It's good that we are passing all these laws, criminalizing witchcraft and um, other cultural practices that have outlived their use if they had one. But it is not enough. They will stay on paper and they will do nothing to help us until our people and our leaders make it a social... ...IQ. We urge the president not to sign the bill because it takes us back. It's a primitive law. It takes us back. And I don't know what tiring academics like Professor Tichu Amino would say or would answer in a question in class. I mean, what does this bill say or what, what are its implications for academic freedom? 
You can have situations where lecturers will be arrested based on the articulation of what LGBTQI means in class. And so for this reason and this reason alone, we commend Amnesty International Ghana for this very bold stand. The reports released earlier today are the launch is expected to shed light on key human rights issues in Ghana and inform efforts to address them. Amnesty International Ghana remains actively engaged in the global movement to raise awareness about human rights issues and promote justice and equality for all.